Hello everyone, welcome to A plus PI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an interesting problem with complex numbers. We have 1 plus i tangent z divided by 1 minus i tangent z and that is equal to i and we're going to be solving for z values and I'll be presenting two methods. If you know of a third one, please let us know. Now, this expression should be familiar to you because it reminds us Euler's formula, doesn't it? Well, what is Euler's formula? Well, Euler's formula gives us e to the power i theta can be written as cosine theta plus i sine theta or the other way around. I guess we already had this, but then Euler found out that we could write it as an exponential, which is a super duper improvement, obviously. It's much more compact and it's a lot easier to work with. Imagine you're multiplying two complex numbers in polar form, and then you can easily do that if you turn them into exponentials. Make sense? Obviously, you can also use this to prove trigonometric identity, so on and so forth. There's a lot of story behind it, but I'm going to skip and get to this. Now, this doesn't have sine or cosine, but it has tangent. Now, take a look at this. 1 plus i tangent z can be written as 1 plus i times sine z over cosine z, right? And then if you kind of factor out a cosine z or 1 over cosine z, you're, you're going to get the following. Take out 1 over cosine z, you're going to get cosine z plus i sine z. Guess what this 1 over cosine z is? That is going to be the modulus or r, yes. And this is going to be our number. Make sense? So yes, it's written a little differently with tangent, but it's actually the standard form or the polar form, whatever. And but with an extra additional r. Make sense? So here's how the first method works. We're going to go ahead and write these as follows. Because we have a quotient, 1 plus i tangent z divided by 1 minus i tangent z. So I can use this idea to simplify this fraction. Let's do it. Write the tangent as sine over cosine. Okay. And then to eliminate the fraction, multiply the top and the bottom by cosine z, which is doable, right? As long as cosine z does not equal 0. You got to be careful about that because if cosine z is 0, the tangent is undefined. You don't want that, right? Do you? I don't think so. So, but when you distribute this, you're going to get cosine z plus i sine z divided by cosine z minus i sine z. By the way, we were talking about cosine theta. Theta is most of the time a real number, but can z be a complex number? Yes, the formula still holds. Now, does that look familiar to you? If you said yes, the top is a complex number and the bottom one is its conjugate. Awesome. Let's go ahead and write these numbers using Euler's formula, which is e to the iz, the complex exponential, divided by e to the power negative iz, which is the conjugate of e to the iz. Make sense? Not only conjugate, they're also reciprocals because the modulus is 1. Think about it. Anyways. Dividing exponentials is so easy. That's why this formula is beautiful, beyond belief. And you can just subtract the exponents and you're going to get e to the power 2iz. Wait a minute. Is that the answer? No. This is equal to i. So let's go ahead and solve this interesting equation. e to the 2iz is equal to i. But guess what? You can write i in polar form and then get an e at the base. Then you can compare the exponents. Easy, right? So how do you do that? iz or easy. i will basically make a pi over 2 radian angle. But you got to remember it's an imaginary number, obviously, right? It can also be written as pi over 2 plus 2 pi. You can basically add multiples of 2 pi. That goes on forever. In other words, we can basically write this as e to the power. This is i, by the way. e to the power i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. And n is an integer. Make sense? Cool, cool. Now, we can go ahead and get rid of the i. 
And of course the bases are not gonna matter anymore. And now we can write it as 2z equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. And then z equals pi over 4 plus pi n. Awesome. Let's go ahead and find out. If n is equal to 0, then we get z equals pi over 4. Wow. z is an angle? Of course. Remember cosine theta plus i sine theta. And the other z value that we're going to get, if you replace n with 1, then you're going to get z equals pi over 4 plus pi, which is 5 pi over 4. So there seems to be two values between 0 and 2 pi, but obviously you can replace n with 2, n with 3, n with 1 million, but they're just going to be the repetition. So we basically have two values between 0 and 2 pi. Make sense? Awesome. Now, are they going to satisfy the equation if you go ahead and substitute? They should. But let's go ahead and take a look at the second method real quick, okay? Because the second method is really cool. And I don't know if anybody thought about it first, probably. And the second method is called, it's an awesome method, by the way, it's called cross multiplication. You weren't expecting that, were you? Now, if you go ahead and cross multiply, you get the following. I times 1 is I, I times negative I is plus 1, tangent Z. Awesome. You see, it's that easy. Cross multiply, I squared is negative 1, you got it. Now let's go ahead, and since we're trying to solve for Z, let's go ahead and put the Z terms on the same side. Subtract I, and then subtract I tangent Z. Get it? And then something miraculous is going to happen. We're going to take out tangent Z, and then 1 minus I is going to appear. And tangent C is going to be 1 minus I over 1 minus I. Isn't that beautiful? And isn't that just 1? And the answer is yes. Tangent Z is 1, which means Z is either pi over 4 or 5 pi over 4. Why? Because if you think about the unit circle, you know, the unit circle, the tangent is 1 when sine and cosine are equal. You can also draw an additional uh, axis for tangent and kind of connect these. There's a little bit of triangles and similarity and whatnot, a little bit of geometry, but you're going to notice that this is pi over 4, one of the angles. It hits at 1. You see, that is our tangent axis. axis. But there are two values whose tangent is 1 because tangent is positive in the first and the third quadrant. If you just extend it, yay! You're gonna get it, you're gonna be getting 5 pi over 4. In other words, pi over 4 plus pi. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye bye.